A little bit of Spain is coming to Portland. Later this month, the Spanish Trade Commission will host a Spanish wine and tapas event. And to get you ready, Chloe Hauser visits a Wines of Spain class at Oregon Culinary Institute in tonight's PDX TV reports. There's a lot to learn about Spanish wine, from the kinds of grapes that grow there, to the price points you can get the wine at, and what to pair it with when you get a bottle. So this first wine that I'm pouring is the Godeo. Maxine Borscherding is a lead chef instructor at Oregon Culinary Institute, and she teaches a Wine Regions of the World class. Today, the lessons on Spanish wine. There's a lot to learn. Spain has been making wines for 3,000 years, and while many people might be thinking of just red wine, there are 400 varietals grown in Spain. There are everything from uh, fruity whites to sparklers to rich reds to um, fortified wines from the south, such as sherry. This is what Rioja should be. Whatever the variety, all Spanish wines have one thing in common. They're a good value for the price. There are many reasons these wines won't break the bank. Exchange rates, the global economic issues, and lack of marketing have all created what Maxine says is an opportunity for wine lovers. People are really starting to catch on to the, to the value. Taste them then with the albondigas, with the meatballs. Once you've got your bottle of Spanish wine, you might be wondering what kinds of food to pair it with. A good rule to remember is what grows together goes together. So Spanish food goes really well with Spanish wine. But there's another rule to keep in mind too. If you're having something that's rich and fatty, uh, you want a wine that can match its weight. And if you have something that's very light and delicate, you want a wine that's light and delicate and isn't going to overpair it. You can learn more about Spanish wines at Spain's Great Match Wine and Tapas event. It's October 29th, and it's the first time this event has been held in Portland. It's actually the 19th year for the event overall. And this year, the proceeds benefit wine students right here at Oregon Culinary Institute. You can get tickets at kptv.com. I'm Chloe Hauser, the 8 o'clock news. Sounds interesting and perfect timing, too, because the price of your favorite wine could be going up.